How engineers do it? Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It. So share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. In this video, we will learn a quick and easy way to create a dynamic range for charts. So in this chart, let's see where the data is taken. Now you can see that there are two pivots created here and the x-axis is taken from this row labels over here and the y-axis is taken from the average years of experience from this pivot table and from this pivot table. Now, if I change, for example, if I change to salary, now the chart is supposed to change its range from the uh, average years of experience to the salary. And if I change from salary to bonus, it is supposed to take the range from here to here. So same goes with the second line here. Now let's just quickly see how we can do that. Now what we need to do is, we just need to put a range 1 and a range 2, right? Now if you notice, in the dashboard, if I change this to years of experience, then you can see over here, it's changing to 1 because that combo box is linked to this cell. Now if you want to know or if you want a complete explanation of how I have arrived with all of this data, then I would, uh, I have left a link to the full video in the description box below. Now, what you can do is, you, uh, as, I, as I was mentioning that uh, the numbers are getting changed over here. For example, I'm just selecting the bonus and you can see that the bonus is number 3, right? So what we need to do is, we just need to list down 1, 2 and 3 here, right? In the normal formatting, so not sure why the formatting got changed there, right? 1, 2 and 3. Now, when it is 1, what I need? Now when it is years of experience, when it is 1, then what is the range I need? The range 1. Now the range 1 I would need is B4 to B13. So I can just directly type B4 to B13, right? Now, when it is 2, what would I need? That will be C4 to C13. So C, similar way, in range 2, when it is 1, what do I need? I need G4 to G13, right? Right? Now I have the table created. Now, the next step is that when I select something over here, the range should completely get updated. So for that, I will put another range 1 and another range 2 over here. And now what I would do is equal to pivot explanation. I'll put an ampersand. We would go for a V lookup, right? And I will select this as a lookup value. And I will look up in this table, comma 2. And I'll go for a exact match, right? Now I have a B4 to B13. Now let's see if I change it to salary. You can see that the range is getting changed automatically. That is C4 to C13. Now if you see over here, that is the salary range. Right. Now, similarly, we'll just do it over here, equal to, now we have these two ranges being created. Now, all we have to do is, we'll just go to the formula, go for name manager, go for new, and just put range 1, and in here, you can just put equal to indirect, and I'll take the range 1 here, close, and I'll go for another range, range 2, and equal to indirect, and now I'll select the second range, and close it, just go for select data, and over here, just go for edit, and here, just remove this first portion, and go for function f3 and select range 1 okay and again go for the second one and remove the first first part function f3 select range 2 okay that's all now if you just see here if you change it to bonus now the value is going to get changed accordingly right so that was a quick tip on uh, how you can uh, make dynamic ranges for chart hope you enjoyed this thank you and stay tuned